Hey guys, welcome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2018, man. We thought we'd try a different format this time. Kate gets to uh, sit back there. Well, I prefer to stand, so I've got my standing desk going. Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining us. We're Very really excited. excited. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> okay, Kate. <laughs> So our first live stream in 2018, hey guys, Welcome. really, oh. really excited to have you guys with us. Um, and we wanted to just chat about sort of travel plans for 2018, New Year's resolutions, and hang out with you guys. It's been a while since we've done a live stream. Mm -hmm. So let us know where you are checking in from. And uh, yeah, we're currently in Tucson, Arizona, where it's partly cloudy. We by woke the, up by to the some way. rain. I love that when you said we're in Tucson, Arizona, we both looked out of the window at the same time. See, this is the kind of thing that happens when you live with someone 24-7, seven, seven days a week. You begin to become one person. It's a little scary. In 90 square feet. Yes. Yeah. This happens. Uh-huh. So I'm going to go monitor the chat. Okay. If you guys have questions, please feel free to leave them in the chat, chat box. And if you have a question that must be answered, you want it to be at the top of the chat and everyone to see it, then please use Super Chat. That is a cool new feature here on YouTube that we haven't seen yet. So I'd be curious to see if it works well. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I just want to do a few shout outs to people. All right, let's do we it. Have people checking in from the UK. Nice. Michigan. Washington. Oh my goodness. Uh, Wisconsin, love Wisconsin, Indianapolis, Florida, Georgia. Oh, most importantly, people want to know where your coffee is. I, I just held it up right there. <laughs> Here's my coffee. Joe from New Hampshire. Hello, everybody. Man. This is... oh, oh, I yeah. like people are going to get their coffee. They are? Yeah. Wow. I've got my tea. Is anyone drinking tea? Cheers. All right. Hey, hey. <laughs> no pro go pronto. I have to say one of our oldest subscribers with one of the best screen names. No pro go pronto. Love that. Say that 20 times. No in pro a row. go pronto. No pro go pronto. We have someone from Switzerland. Nice. We were actually talking about going to Switzerland this year. I don't know if it's going to work out, but we would love to come and hike the Alps. Uh, I was there one time a long time ago. Kate has never been, so it would be a lot of fun. Is that where you became addicted to Ricola? <laughs> my, little, my little problem. Uh, we have people from Atlanta, New Zealand. I love it when people check in from all over the world. It's just... It's so amazing to me that we have people watching us from. It is. Across the pond. And Scott, you are very correct. My what? coffee is an extension of my arm. <laughs> uh, people, <laughs> all right, well, let me start organizing the questions. Okay. But I already have some questions that our WTR family submitted. So we'll start off with those. Um, question from Ron is, do we have any big trips planned for 2018? Um, so we don't really plan that far in advance. Uh, we are planning right now to, from Tucson in a few days, we are going to be headed to Quartzsite. A lot of you have asked if we are going to Quartzsite. So we are going to go. We're going to be part of the Escapers annual bash that they're holding out there. And we're going to be presenting a seminar about camper van life and how to live small. So if you'll be out there for the Escapers Conference, please join us. We'd love to see you. Well, wait, share with everyone the last sentence of the description of our seminar. Oh, which well, is... <laughs> which is we're going to talk about what it's like to live in a van and how we keep from killing each other. Yeah. So that that's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, we don't really have plans to go over to the RTR. We might drive over to that area just to check it out. But for the most part, after that, we are leaving to go to the Las Vegas area. And we're going to be holding a meetup for our WTR family. 
If you guys want to know how to become part of the WTR family or even just what it is, head over to Patreon and look up We're the Russos and you'll see everything that's going on there. Plus, I know a lot of you really enjoyed the bloopers that we're putting in videos. Well, we're doing a blooper reel every week now on Patreon. So there's a lot of content that's going up there that you can only get there. So check it out. Right. Well, not only that, but we also did a full tour of the Titan Missile Museum. Yes. That we published. I think it's like 30 minutes long or 40 Just minutes long. Just over 30 minutes. Yeah. That's a long one. Um, okay. Let's see. What are... Oh, so another patron asked us what our New Year's resolutions are and if we can share our workout regimen. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll... I think for me, I won't speak for Joe, but my New Year's resolution is to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's continue to eat well, exercise, and reduce my stress level. Um, yeah? Yeah. What about you? So I'm definitely working on reducing my stress level. Um, I'm working on my coffee regimen every day. And I am also working on trying to get better in shape. So last year for Valentine's Day, I made Kate a promise. Well, actually, this was something I wanted to do for her. I wanted to be in the best shape of my life to stay around as long as possible for Kate. So on Valentine's Day, I vowed that I would change my eating habits, really start working out again and doing things like that. Since then, I've lost just over 30 pounds, um, getting nice and bulky in the gym. Uh, and that is going to continue for 2018. So I'm really making that part of my new lifestyle because I want to stay around as long as possible for this one back here. Yes. You're not going anywhere, <laughs> but I will say, so one, one cool thing we started on January 1st is a eight week mindfulness practice. So we found this great free book uh, through our Amazon Prime program, and it's been really helpful in teaching us to practice being mindful every day and how to sort of manage our stress level. I think everyone, you can probably all relate, we all have stresses in our lives, and we're on week two of the mindfulness program and mm -hmm. it's I really noticed a, a significant difference so I'll leave a link to the book if any of you guys are interested in checking it out and the nice thing is if you are a Amazon Prime member the book is free to borrow same for Kindle Unlimited uh, but the second point of that question earlier was what is our workout routine we've really started trying to do uh, what's known as high intensity training so that is short well High intensity interval training. Thank you. <laughs> um, and we are trying, we're working that into our uh, schedule or routine. We're also doing heavy weight lifting um, and various other things. So we're doing a lot of things now like sprinting. Uh, this exercise called burpees, which I've been doing a few times now. And when I get halfway through, I just collapse onto the ground. <laughs> um, and, in a good way. Yes. yes. And a lot of some of the very kind of, I think they're more old school regimens, which is farmer's walks, which is just grabbing uh, some really heavy weight and walking across the gym with it. And you will be surprised at how sore something that simple will make you. Um, and outside of that, it's really just about trying to get into the gym every few days whenever we can. Yeah. Okay. Right. What's next? So we have another WTR family question, member question, which is twofold. When is the cookbook coming out and when is your book coming out? I'll let you go first. Well, I'm trying to work on the cookbook. It's taking a little while, but the good news is I do have time when I do share recipes um, to post them with our WTR family. And this year, I'm going to try to make time to 
do some specific Instant Pot videos um, that we'll post with our WTR family members as well. So there's go one going up in, in January. I'm committed to that. Now that I've said it in the live stream, I have to publish it. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But I'm working on the cookbook, and it'll come out this year. Nice. Now, for me, I, I am partially through the second book. Uh, writing the second book has turned out to be a lot more difficult for me than the first, but I'm working my way through it. And I would say next couple of months, depending on how quickly I can get the book done, and then we have to get it edited and everything else. So well, one thing I learned about writing a book, once you've written a book, you've only accomplished a very small portion of everything that has to get done before you can hit the publish button. So there is a lot of work ahead of us for both books. There is. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, questions. Well, I, Hit me. I am, okay, well, give me a minute. Um, let's take a quick break. I need. There's a lot of chat going on, and it's taking me a little while to go back through and sort through everything. So give me a minute, and okay. I will grab the ch uh, questions from the live chat. Sounds good. Guys, give us one minute. Let us go through the chat. She'll check the questions and we'll be back, so stay tuned. We have so many questions. We do. Holy cow. Okay. But I do need to ask, did we come back on? Because I think I hit, I may have hit the wrong button when we went to break. Oh, are we not live anymore? We should be. Will you guys let us know it in, in the chat if we're still live? Let's, Let's see. Well, as we're figuring that out, you can find us more questions. Yep. So we're still on, okay, but cool. I have questions, All right. lots of them. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, number one is, when are we going to be in Las Vegas? Someone would like to know. Uh, we will be there. We're arriving on the 16th, and we will be there until the 28th. Yes. And we will be announcing the meetup in probably the next day or two. Mm -hmm. And that will be on Patreon. So keep a lookout. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the WTR family on Patreon, the way the meetups work is they are, wow, the sun really just came out. Um, the meetups are really more of a personal thing. So we're, we typically don't hold a, you know, meet at a park and a bunch of us get together. It's more of if you're in the Vegas area and would like to get together, we'll find time to schedule to get coffee with you, meet up for a beer, or do something like that. Something more personal, not just a big group of people getting together. Now that could change somewhere down the road, but that's the way we do it now. And we All actually right. just met a patron a couple nights ago. We did. That was a lot of fun mm -hmm. in Tucson. Okay. Another travel related question. Are, are y'all going to the RV super show in Tampa next week? We are not. So we are in Tucson and we don't plan on driving cross country or flying out for the show. Most, uh, most of that is just, you know, where we happen to be in the country. Uh, I think after Vegas, we're going to head back through Arizona and make our way into Texas. So there is a big rally in Tucson that we're going to try to be at in early February. And then a RV Entrepreneur Summit in Texas later in February that we're going to make it to. And speaking of Texas, uh, someone asked what t-shirt sizes we wear because they would like to send us something from Texas. 
Nice. I'm a large. I'm a small. Um, if you want to get a hold of us, I don't know. What's the best way to reach us? Shoot us an email, I guess. Or leave a comment on our website. I yeah. guess that's the... Go to our website, leave a comment, we'll see it, and we'll shoot you an email with uh, with an address you can send us stuff to. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> there are questions about your drinking habits, Joe. How many, how many cups a day are you having? That is a uh, very serious question. <laughs> and one I like to keep under the table. <laughs> really depends on my mood. And my writing schedule. So my books are completely fueled by coffee, regardless of whether I start writing at 10 in the morning or 10 at night. I will start with a cup of coffee, and that usually keeps me going for a few hours. And if you read the book, you'll know that he's significantly reduced the amount of coffee he's been drinking. I have. I used to be one of those people, looking back on it... Uh, Let's take a step even further back. Um, when I when I used to live at my parents' house growing up, there was always a pot of coffee on and ready to go. And if there wasn't, one was currently being made. Um, fast forward, uh, my coffee habit was probably three or four pots a day. Right before we got on the road, I was probably doing about two, two and a half pots a day. And now my coffee intake is measured in cups. So... Usually, I would say maybe two cups a day. It really depends. Well, following that question, can you share with... So someone just acquired a pressed coffee and pour over. Okay. And they want to know what your preferred method of brewing coffee is and how you do it. That all depends. So I think it, a lot of it depends on your mood and the coffee you have. I think pressed coffee is great because you get a... It's a very full flavor out of the coffee. When you brew it in a pour over, you're going through a filter. So some of the, not acidity, but some of the bitterness is brewed out of it. Um, and it actually comes through the coffee much quicker. When you're in a press, you can let it sit there for longer. Um, so really the best way to do it is make both and you know have them back to back if you can. And just see which one you like better. Also, play around with the temperature of the water. What you don't want to do is brew coffee with boiling water. Depending on the beans I have, I usually try to keep the temperature of the water around about 180 degrees. Are you ready for more questions oh, I am. about your drinking habit? <laughs> Let's go. Someone would like to know if you've considered switching to tea. Is that a rhetorical <laughs> question? <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll have tea every now and again, but no, it, tea does not bring me the same pleasure that a hot cup of coffee does. Not even close. No. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Um, someone, so switching gears to book writing, which mm -hmm. I think is really exciting. Uh, someone was wondering how many hours a day you spend on writing. Uh, that depends. I try to make it a habit to write every single day unless something else is going on that is just, you know, getting in the way of writing. But it's not so much how long I spend, it's how many words. So I try to do a minimum of a thousand words per day. There are some days where I just have a really great writing session and I might write five or six thousand. And I think it depends on how that's flowing. And keep in mind, Writing nonfiction is, or I would say actually writing any book, you're going to hit sections if you haven't pre-planned the whole book that you're going to need to stop and research things. So as I'm writing, I'm double checking my notes. I'm double checking where we were that day, uh, the names of places to make sure I'm spelling things correct, that I'm talking about the correct spot on the map. So a thousand words could take me an hour or could take me three hours depending on you know, what I have to do that day to get those words out. Now, audiobook. Multiple people have asked, where is the audiobook for Take Risks? <laughs> <laughs> okay, audiobook. I've been trying to work on the audiobook. The problem I'm having is it's very difficult to record a professional sounding audiobook in a van with a husky who likes to pant a lot. Um, 
the microphone picks up all the noises in here. You know, when you have people driving by, closing their doors, if Kate just happens to be in here typing or something like that, and it's really difficult to get time. Uh, but I am working with a friend that we are going to try and get a studio so that I can go in and it's going to take me about a week to record the audiobook. So our estimate is the audiobook would be about nine to 10 hours long. And it would probably take us, what did they say, 40 to 50 hours to record it? I thought it was more than that. Yeah, actually. Of recording time and then actually getting it condensed down to probably, what, eight to 10 hour yeah. of actual book? Recorded book. Yeah. yeah, so it's in, I think it was, I think they said expect to spend five to six times the amount of time the book is going to be. So if the book is going to be 10 hours long when it's done, expect to spend 50 to 60 hours actually recording that and i'm gonna to have to do that all in a week in a studio it's it's a lot to commit to so i'm gonna to try to do it but you know don't don't cross your fingers just yet uh really quickly shout out to cc one of our wtr family hey, hey. members thank you for joining us awesome uh cc said love the idea of leo doing the audiobook <laughs> It will just be nonstop panting. Yep. We might have some refunds if you did that. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Switching gears to tr more travel questions. Um, someone would like to know if we would like to go to Alaska in the future. We would, but we'd actually like to go in the winter. And before you say we're crazy for doing that, uh, Kate is actually very allergic to mosquitoes. And when we went down to the Everglades in, was it 2017? Or no, no, no 2016. 2016, yeah, 20, February. February 2016. Uh, when we went down there, the mosquitoes were terrible. We got swarmed. Kate came out of there. Her whole face was swollen. We had bug bites all over us. And it was not a pleasant experience. We've heard Alaska can get really bad and the national bird is the mosquito. So we want to go up either on the shoulder season, so early spring or late fall uh, or winter. Maybe take the train up or take a cruise or something. Uh, someone asked if we've signed off. I hope we're still live. Will you guys let us know in the chat box? I hope so. Yeah. Let's take, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we should take a quick break. Okay, Double we're going to check, check the this. Yeah, we'll check the connection. Huh. No, they're saying we're still live. Okay. That's good. Okay, thank you guys. It's really hard to man. There's so much chatter going on. I'm trying uh -huh. to keep track of everything. This is fun, though. I'm really happy all of you guys were able to make it for the live stream and that you're leaving us chats and everything. If a question or something gets missed, we're really sorry, but it's nonstop. So if you want your question, comment, whatever to come up to the top, be sure to use Super Chat. That will allow your comment to be put right up there at the top for all of us to see. We have another WTR family member. Al is joining us as well. Nice, and by the way, congratulations on the new trailer, Al. We're really excited for you. <laughs> all right. More travel questions. Um, have you ever been to Ohio? If so, when? Yes. That's very specific. <laughs> it is. Uh, we went uh, 2016. Yes. And my cousin was getting married in Maslin. So we went there, went to the NFL Hall of Fame, a few other places. And then we were supposed to go to a big D-Day reenactment, but this one got the dates wrong. So, but we enjoyed Ohio. It was nice. Yeah, we did. We even did a video about fun things to do in Canton. Mm-hmm. We did. Yeah. So, I'll pop that in the chat in a minute. Okay. What about Canada? Are you going to, are we going to Canada this year? We would like to. Uh, I think it depends on where we end up once it, the weather starts getting warm. So, we like to say... You know, we'd love to get up there. It's just how long is it going to take us to get from Texas or wherever we are up 
into Canada to really get to enjoy it before it gets cold. And if the mosquitoes get really bad, we're heading back down south. Yes. Mosquitoes are hard to ignore or avoid. Yes. They seem to be everywhere. Everyone's asking where and what is Super Chat. Oh. So if you look at the bottom of the chat box, there's a smiley face and then this weird dollar symbol thing next to it. The dollar thing is Super Chat. Yes, except I think in the last live stream, someone said that they don't have access to it on their phone. Or oh, maybe it looks different. So on desktop, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I have no idea because we, we've never had in, we've never seen it in action. No, no one's ever used it, so. <laughs> uh, someone, people keep asking, um, let's see, someone was asking when we were going to be in Texas. Or how long we're staying in Tucson. Um, so we're leaving Tucson in a few days. Mm -hmm. And headed up to Quartzsite. Oh, hey, we have a super chat. Hey, Scott, hey, thank Scott. you. Scott. Wow. Holy cow. Hi, Scott. Thank you. He Robin says woohoo. And Robin, too. Thank you. Hey, Robin. That's really cool. Scott, you are the first one to ever use Super Chat on our channel. Thank and, you. And Robin, number two. So first and second right there. Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, so switching gears, I've seen some questions come in about the mindfulness book. Mm -hmm. um, so I will put a link again to the mindfulness book if you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, but someone did ask after I mentioned it earlier if we both meditate. Yes. We, Kate has been doing a lot more meditation than I have, uh, but now that we've started this mind, mindfulness, uh, we're both meditating together, trying to do it twice a day. And it's helped me a lot. I've found I'm much more centered. And as hokey as it originally sounded to me, it's actually turning out to be quite interesting and eye-opening as to, you know, how my body's reacting to it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> This comment made me choke a little bit. Uh, so we have another WTR family member who joined us, Todd. And Todd said, Joe looks sad. I do? Are you sad, honey? <laughs> I'm sad I'm almost out of coffee. Every time I start to get down to the bottom, I look in the cup and I just think to myself, oh, it's almost gone. Um, Robin wants to know where in Texas we'll be. Oh, so the summit is going to be in Fredericksburg. Uh, we would like to get up to Austin. We've only been for South by Southwest, so we want to do that. Um, our quote unquote hometown is Livingston, Texas, and we want to make it up there. And I think that's, we that's really- the extent of our- Our planning. Yeah. I mean, we could end up anywhere. Uh, we have some friends that are outside of Houston Ooh, Dan. Hi, Dan. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, Dan just did another super chat, so it's nice to see this is actually working. This is awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think after Texas, personally, I would like to go back up to Wisconsin for the summer. That's what I'm rooting for. Wait, what happened to Canada? Yeah, well, Canada is north of Wisconsin. Well, I understand that, yeah. Because, well, one, I'd like to go back for the Packer shareholder meeting, but also uh, EAA was so much fun. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have never been to EAA and you're into airplanes, that is the best air show to go to. Scott says my centeredness comes across as being sad. You're so that could be. I'm just, I feel very relaxed. Maybe I should smile more. You do smile. Well, your smile is my smile. Uh, someone said the Skeeters are bad in Wisconsin. We know. They we, weren't, yeah, they weren't as bad when we were up there, but we know. Oh, but we got hit really bad in Madison, remember? Oh my God, that was terrible. I think that one day they just all decided to come mm -hmm. out of the woodworks. Um, <laughs> sorry, the chat's going so fast. I'm trying to keep track of everything and go back up and make sure I didn't miss any questions. Um, oh, Al had an interesting question 
um, that's kind of off topic, but but something we had discussed mm -hmm. is with our last YouTube video about our time in Tucson, we had the issue where the advertising um, was oh, yeah. held back because of the missile tour. And yeah. he wants to know if that's been resolved. So that was, that was resolved. It's usually resolved fairly quickly, and we've had the problem before. Uh, but YouTube has started this thing where they want to make sure that the videos that they're posting up are good for all of their advertisers. They don't want things that are very uh, political, negative, violent, uh, stuff like that. So I think because we said missile tour or maybe war or things like that came up when we were doing that, uh, it flagged the video. Now that I'm mentioning it again, it might get this might get flagged. Who knows? Um, but there was one question I saw here from Dan, who left the super chat, about what we think about the active versus the road trek zion versus the travado oh that's okay yeah so we like we like all three we've looked at all three um the reason why we really like the active i i would say over the other two would be the living area and it's this area up front that we're sitting in now it's very open we can flip the seats around and then the bed in the back is another big one that we can always keep the bed down, relax. Uh, we don't have to put the bed away every night. Some of the other uh, Class Bs out there had, let's see, the couch that converted into a bed and things of that nature. So for us, this layout really works well. And with that, I wanna say a huge thank you and you're welcome to Al, who just left us another super chat. And I would say, you know, having looked at all the different vans and different RVs, all the, sorry, going back to the previous question, which is, you know, comparing different vans and RVs, and we've seen so many. Um, I think storage. Yes, yeah, storage is big. When you're in a big. small space, huge. Yeah, and I like, so one cool thing about the Zion uh, is, and I'm trying to remember all of them exactly. So there's the Zion, what's the other road trek? The simplicity. simplicity. So the simpl one thing I liked with the simplicity was they had the permanent bed in the back and then underneath the bed was storage. But for us, the active really works well because the bed is up higher and everything below it is storage. Plus that middle section becomes Leo's den. And that's actually where he's passed out right now. A few people have asked us to put Leo on camera. He is out right now like a light. He just had lunch. Yeah. We fed him before we went live and he's in his food coma. Yeah. So that's, it's really, I think for vans, especially because it's such a small space, it's really a personal decision. And I would say the best way to evaluate a van is just to go in, sit in it, pretend like you're living, think of it day to day, not just, you know, I think one thing that we always got overwhelmed by is when you first go into something, you're like, wow, this is really cool but you don't think about it from a practical sense. So that's that's really my best advice there. Okay, I have to, I have to laugh at this question. Um, someone asked, have you ever considered taking acting lessons? <laughs> well, first of all, well, I think that kind of leads to the other question which we get a lot is, are you guys paid actors? So we get, yes, we get asked a lot <laughs> if we are paid actors. Um, if when we do some of the videos, let's say we do a walkthrough of a van or a, a different product, are we getting paid for that? The answer is no. Uh, we've talked about taking acting classes, but for us, it's really about being real and showing you who we really are. So the people you're getting right now, if I'm, you know, a bit sad or really happy or stuff like that, it is because we're not putting on a face. This is who we really are. And we're just total hot messes. I mean, that's... <laughs> Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> um, so no, we don't get paid to make videos. Um, we do make our a nice portion of our revenue off the advertising that gets shown in the videos. So when you watch a video and it shows the little skip button, um, you know we get paid for that advertising. But no, I mean we we make these videos because we love doing it. We love helping you guys. Uh, when we show a new product or van or like that pop up tent thing. It's really because we thought it was a cool product and we wanted to share it with you guys because we thought you'd find it cool too. Yeah. 
So no acting lessons in the future. No. All right. Uh, oh, gym membership. I think someone already answered this in the chat, uh, but uh, someone else asked which gym we belong to. Planet Fitness. I think I think the price has gone up. It's twenty one ninety five now. Twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one ninety nine. For a black card. For a black card, but the cool thing is we can both go. So I'm the member. Kate goes as my guest. We can go to any gym in the country. Um, and on the first Monday of every month, it's Pizza Day followed by Bagel Tuesday. Which we hit both this week. We did. Well, I didn't participate. <clears throat> I can't speak for the other person in this band. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but it, this is in no way an endorsement of Planet Fitness. Uh, I will say the thing we like about it is there are a lot of locations around the country. Um, the downside for Planet Fitness for me is there is a very limited number of good weight machines. So there's no, there's no free bars and things like that. It's more centered around machines and cardio and things like that so that that's my biggest drawback about it all right going back to what you were talking about uh, with regards to advertising revenue on youtube al uh, wanted to know if you get paid if we get paid less when he hits the skip video button skip ad button um so we don't get paid it the way it works is we get paid as long as someone watches either at least 30 seconds of an ad before they skip it or they watch the ad in its entirety. So if an ad is only 15 seconds and you watch all 15 seconds and we get paid for that. And as you can imagine, most people hit the skip button. So it's really, um, you know, it, it's, it works for us. Mm -hmm. uh, have we been to Chicago, Illinois? We have, yeah. and but that was when we were in the class B or class, class B, a. class A, and we have a friend who lives outside in the New Lenox area. Uh, but we definitely drove into the city. We took Leo walking around Chicago. He loved it. We got some really good deep dish. Got to go to Italy. That place is awesome. Mm -hmm. And I got to show Kate around the city. I used to go to Chicago every now and again for business as well as New York quite a bit. So it was always fun. Yes, it was. I think um, what's really exciting is a lot of people have joined us since we switched to the Class B. Mm -hmm. um, and since we've been in the B, we so this when we switched to the Class B, we both said to each other, we really want to take our time and embrace the pace mm -hmm. that's sort of slow the down. thing in napanee indiana and really slow down get to know a city and feel more like locals before we leave so we haven't been traveling as much as we were in the class a but if you go back through our class a videos you'll see i think we did what, over 20 states in a year 20 i think it was 24 okay but we went from coast to coast and we went up to wisconsin for the summer and mm -hmm. we were everywhere because someone else was asking if we've been to Florida. And we wintered there last year? Two no, years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. So we've, we've been all over the place. We have. Um, okay, switching gears a little bit. Someone said that our live stream feed is really good. And they want to know if we're currently using a hotspot or a Wi-Fi. Uh, we're parked in front of uh, a good friend of ours. We're at his house. He graciously allowed us to hang out in the driveway. He's at work. So we are currently bumming off his Wi-Fi at the moment because to do this on our hotspot, we have the Verizon Unlimited plan, but it's not really unlimited. So once we hit 15 gigs of hotspot data, we get throttled. And that happens to us on a monthly basis now. And it's another reason we've been looking at getting either a second hotspot, a phone on a new, on a different carrier, because we're quickly running out of data each month. Yeah, especially with those video uploads. Yeah, it, it takes a lot. And all the support from you guys watching the videos and everything else is what keeps the lights on around here. <laughs> yeah. So thank you everyone for the super chats yes, today. Yes, the super chats were super helpful. Yes. Um, okay. Someone wants to know if we watch if we watch a lot of TV in the van. 
Uh, we don't watch any TV, but we will do movie nights every now and again. Um, you know, we have Netflix on our phones. We will hit up a red box. We love red box and they send us codes for, you know, a buy one, get one. So we do a lot of movie nights every now and again, but we never do TV. The only time we've turned the TV on is so Kate can watch her Packers games, which went horrible this season. It was a rough season for the pack. It was. Um, okay, let me, do you mind if we take another quick break so I can sort through sure. some of the, the questions in here? Well, there? I don't mind. I'm sure everyone so, else minds, but. Well, give me a moment to sort through all the, all the chat questions. All right. There's just a lot going on. We'll be back in a moment, guys. Okay, okay, we're back. Holy cow, you guys. There's a lot going on. Okay. I know, and I know, I'm sorry, you've memorized the cover of the book by now. It's just a much better scene than me sitting here, like, twirling my thumbs and Kate staring at her screen. Um, a lot, so I, I saw multiple questions about, um, people would love for you to talk more about going vegan. Okay. Um, they either have wives or husbands trying to convince them to go vegan. So it might be helpful to give people an idea of where you started before uh -huh. you went full plant-based for a while and where we are now. So when I, before I started, I was a total carnivore and vegetables, things like that were always an afterthought. Um, for those of you who have been with us for a while, you may have seen a lot of our, the videos we did around like big burgers, barbecue. Um, I know Robert's favorite video is the all you can eat sushi. Um, we always get messages from him about that. And I would eat tons of meat. I would barbecue all the time. And Kate decided to go plant-based. Um, she played some documentaries and things for me. Long story short, I was convinced. I was like, all right, I need to do this for my health. I had been gaining a lot of weight. I wasn't feeling well. And this was uh, back at the start of 2017. Well, the night before we went plant-based, I went out, I took my best friend for dinner and we got all you can eat Korean barbecue, which is nothing but meat. The next day I went cold turkey and I would say after the first couple after the first couple weeks, I was feeling worse and worse and worse until I got to a point where, excuse me for a second, thank you so much for the super chat, and I'm so happy you love the book. Um, but I got to a point where I was I woke up and I had vertigo, and it was from my body detoxing from all the meat that was in my system and all you know everything else because I had switched to eating whole foods, uh, raw vegetables, fruits, veg nuts, grains, things like that. And it took me a few days, but I got past it and I really had to push myself. I sat down and had a serious talk with Kate about going back to meat because it was that bad. Um, flash forward to where we are today. We do add in a little meat here and there, but it's really about using that meat as a supplement. So we eat fish, a lot of sardines, salmon, cod, things like that. Every now and again, we'll throw in eggs and some chicken liver because it's extremely good for you. Uh, but for the most part, everything we eat is fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains. And I feel better now than I have my whole life. Um, my energy is up. I've lost all the weight and I'm so sorry I didn't do this earlier because it has really been good for me. And I'm I would, proud of you, honey. Yeah, I would say for anyone who is struggling with trying to get a spouse or your partner on board, I would say start doing it yourself. And I'm sure you're already doing it, but 
let them see how well it's affecting you. Uh, because Kate's parents, they haven't gone into it entirely, but her parents started getting on this type of eating program. Her dad has lost all sorts of weight. They have all this energy. Her mom is feeling a lot better. And my mom is now starting to do more of it. So I think it's very contagious when people see that you're feeling better, you're looking better, and they want to know how you did it. And you're like, I just ate better food. Yeah. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm seeing some chatter in the box about, you know, labeling and veganism and all of that. At the end of the day, it's all about eating well and feeling good mm -hmm. and eating real food. It yeah. doesn't matter if you eat meat or not, if you eat fish or not, eggs. As long as you're feeding your body good food, I think you'll you'll reap the rewards, right, and feel better. Yeah. And um, it really has to be something that works for you. Um, you know, if I had gotten off meat and it really wasn't working for me, fine. I probably would have added more back into my diet, but living this way has really worked well for me. And I saw someone say, we're not, I'm not a vegan. No, I'm not. When I started, I was plant-based. Um, I guess that's the best label to put on it, but I've realized that I like to supplement with some meat here and there. And I, again, to Kate's point, I don't put a label on it. I eat healthy and I eat things that are going to make my, fuel my body very well. Um, I, I saw a few people mentioning because we mentioned early on in the video that we're going to be in texas vegas different places and people are asking to meet up with us mm -hmm. so we the best way to meet up with us is by becoming a wtr family member because we host monthly meetups there and to yeah. do that head over to patreon and look up where the russos so our wtr family is our patreon family and that is where we post all of our meetups. And if you want to get together with us wherever we are, um, we'll let you know every month and say, hey, this is where we're going to be. And if you're in the area, we'd love to meet up with you. Great. Okay. I think we're kind of doing, wow, we've been on for almost 50 minutes. Oh, man. Holy cow. Um, okay. So if you guys have last minute questions you want us to answer, please submit them. So I don't think we're going to be going on for too much longer. Um, but switching gears, uh, someone wants to know if we do any mountain biking or paddle boarding. You know, we don't. I used to do a lot of biking. Uh, I haven't. And I think that's part of what we're looking to do in 2018, which is become more active. Um, we've held back a little bit because with Leo's health issues, we don't want to leave him for too long. And he can't go on the hikes and things with us. But we love the hike. We've been looking at getting bikes, either the electric mountain bikes or, you know, standard pedal powered bikes or whatever it is. Uh, I would love to go paddle boarding. I've never done it. We have gone kayaking. We both love to kayak. And it was really fun kayaking down the river in Milwaukee through the middle of the city. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Although you did not want to fall into that water. It was ugh. No. I'll, we did look at, remember, so we went to an REI garage sale, remember, and they had the collapsible oh, yes. uh, kayak. We were considering getting one of those for van life. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it is, for us, like a paddleboard, um, kayaks, where do we put all that stuff? Um, you know, Even folding or inflatable ones, we only have so much room. So we have to do things where we can rent the paddleboard or rent a kayak but I will say, if you don't travel with a dog like Leo, you, you'll you have more storage area space under the bed. Yeah. But we keep that whole area basically completely open with the exception of a few boxes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's Leo's den. But if, if the den wasn't there, then yeah, you could probably put a lot more stuff. Yeah. So we're limited with our storage. And Leo is priority number one. He is. <laughs> love that little bugger. And for those of you who are wondering, Leo has been doing well. Um, he is still getting up and going, having a lot of fun. So we're enjoying every single day we have with him. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that's all the questions. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. 
I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and haven't done so already, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you next week for our regularly scheduled program. Thanks. Bye, guys.